Welcome back to the Woodland Pursuit. Today I am in Sturbridge, Massachusetts at the Reinhardt Targets R100 National Archery Tour. This is a traveling national 3D archery event where Reinhardt Targets brings their entire catalog of amazing targets to you. With the participation of the Hamilton Rod and Gun Club, a local event is held here providing you with the opportunity to experience sending those arrows at some of the most fantastic, most realistic targets in the industry. Reinhardt also brings custom novelty targets as well, some of which will blow your mind due to their uniqueness and also from the size of them alone. They're pretty huge. They have two courses, the African course and the North American course. There's a total of 100 targets, 50 per course. Today I'm only doing the African course, however from my past experiences shooting these courses, I can assure you both courses are equally awesome. Guys, don't forget, if you're not subscribed, not better, please go right below now. now. Please smash that subscribe button and show me some love. Watch along now to experience what the Reinhardt R100 is all about. Alright, here's a 32 yard warm up shot basically. I switched over arrows, you notice I'm not using my carnivores anymore. So I have no idea how these are gonna fly. And I'll be adjusting my sight from target to target to dial them in. So let's see how they do. All right, this is the weirdest shot ever. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Not too shabby. Ah, I was just trying to get my arrow me. Ah. All right, guys, number three is none other than the giraffe. And he's huge. You can see the step ladder there to get your arrow out of him with. And I have to just take a moment to say that when my cousin Phil was alive, we shot this and he absolutely loved, loved, loved this target. He was amazed by how large it was. So this shot goes out to you, Phil. Getting emotional, man. Whew. This target is huge. Some doofuses shot it in the head. Please don't shoot this target in the head, guys. There's no telling where these arrows are gonna go if you don't hit the head. But it's getting me really emotional, man. There's my arrow. It's in a 10 ring. You know, it's still shooting. A little bit left. That might have just been me, because you know this target's pretty emotional for me. It's got me, it's got me feeling a certain sort of way. Missing the folks that I love, man. Absolutely love. Alright, we got a double here. Four and five.
tell where that second shot went. All right, 11. Oh, 10 on the zebra. Okay. Alligator. Well, 22 yard shot on alligator or crocodile or whatever this thing is. But the line the 11, so zeros are looking like they're flying pretty good. It's only 22 yards, but still. All right, we got dinosaurs. We got dinosaurs. The dinosaur is sore. All right, so a big part of archery is the mind game, right? Dude next to me and the other target just smacked a tree right as I was releasing it. Totally affected my shot. Not to make excuses, but when you hear whack, thunk, you know, kind of messes you up a little bit. All right, 47 yards, a little high in the shoulder. I don't know if that's me or the arrows, we'll see. Welcome to the jungle, baby. You're gonna die! Alright guys, 52 yards. We got a Yeti in freaking Smoke City. 11 ring his big old butt. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, look at there. Big old Yeti, Smoke City. 52 yards. Yeah. Another dinosaur. Yay. Look at that. I just missed a 10 at 40. Kind of smashed the trigger on that one. But, oh well, close enough. All right, man. Look at that. Just got to find my groove. Another 11. All right, so just got to get my groove on. Okay, not even joking. I'm shooting from the white stake, which is the furthest out. And so far, this is my third 11, and that's pretty dang good for me. So selfies of all the 11s for sure. Ooh, all right, so we got the pink panther Not an 11, but a 10 Not too shabby shooting with these new arrows. I'm starting to really like them So if you notice that I'm missing numbers like I'm skipping a few you would be correct You know the families in the larger groups. I'm going around them. Just so you know All right Just on the line of the 10 ring, but it's still a tenner All right you know, I have my good days and my bad days of shooting. This is definitely a better day, so I'll take it. Hopefully, things stay going in this direction. Little targets. Brush that one. Just a little high. Now look, this is an 11 that I'll take all day long because it's the size of a nickel. Heck yeah. I will take this 11 ring all day long. It's the size of a nickel. The insert's probably the diameter of a Coke can and about blew it out of them. So, heck yeah, I'll take it. All right, shooting mosquitoes. This one isn't as good as the other one. We're targeting tiny to hit the insert, so definitely an accomplishment. It still only scores an eight though. Ridiculous, right? All right, 21 special. We got the dinosaur down there. After shooting mosquitoes and armadillos, if you missed this one, it'd be kind of crazy, right? But that 11 is still very, very sweet indeed. All right. 
right, little dino. All right, so this is a tiny little stegosaurus. I just happened to pull it left. All right, here we go. So we got a really bad crosswind in here and I was lined up perfectly and I usually drop my pin down into the 11 ring, but the wind started blowing. I started getting my bow and I launched it and just a little high. This could have been an 11 for sure, but live and learn. Man, walking to this target makes me want to break down again. I really miss my cousin Phil. If you ever watched me early on, you'll notice that he was in a lot of my stuff. And man, he loved this target again. And it's like he is with me. Look at this. Look at that freaking arrow. It's like he's got his hand in the game here, guiding my arrow because it is windy out here. It's such a crosswind. Man, I love that that guy so much. And I miss him so much. And archery is all about sharing it with other people. And I'm doing this course doing this course by myself and he's still here with me man he's still here with me man. ooh a big old hippo hippopotamus well, I pulled it out of that big old 11 but I still got a big old 10 hippopotamus all right so here we go target number 26 the first target of the second half of the safari course do that long walk i shot a little high and then drop in like i wanted to but i'll take it all right we got a bat just outside the 11. All right, here we go. Just over the 11. So close, yet so far away. Very big kitty. 30 yard shot at the kitty. All right, shooting a little high this half. Just not bringing my pin down all the way before I'm punching off, so we gotta correct that pretty soon, or I'm going to drive myself crazy.
I cannot believe that I 44 yards. I center punched this guy. Definitely, definitely Phil helping me out here. <laughs>